is at the core of the fourth industrial revolution. It is profoundly transforming the world that we live in, and it has the potential to lead to very significant economic impact and societal prosperity. It is no surprise then that AI has become part of the political agenda of many countries. And today, we are facing an AI race with two main contenders for first place, the US and China. In this context, Europe is lagging behind. Top AI European talent is not choosing to stay in Europe or to work for European institutions. Blurred but very attractive opportunities from the US and China, mostly from the private sector. Worried about this situation and frustrated about how slow European institutions and governments are moving, we, a community of AI researchers in Europe, mobilized ourselves and created a little bit over a year ago a grassroots movement called ELIS, the European Laboratory for Learning and Intelligent Systems. With ELIS, what we want is to foster excellent research and innovation in Europe with positive economic and societal impact. Our vision is to create a new European AI laboratory inspired by the successful examples of EMBO, the European Molecular Biology Laboratory, and the Vector Institute in Toronto. The focus of ELIS is machine learning, which is the driver behind modern AI. Machine learning is inspired by a model of human intelligence which is not programmed, but learned from data. Virtually all the dramatic progress that we are seeing in AI and the impact that AI is having in the world today is fueled by data-driven machine learning. However, European machine learning researchers face four major barriers today. First of all, a lack of competitive salaries. Secondly, very high teaching loads in academic institutions. Thirdly, a very rigid environment that limits the opportunities to collaborate with industry and to spin off companies. And fourthly, uh, there is a situation of fragmentation and a lack of critical mass where we have islands of excellence that are not connected with themselves. With ELIS, we are aiming to tackle these four barriers with a three-pillar strategy. We are open to anyone in Europe subject to very strict excellence criteria and to mechanisms that ensure that the excellent research is carried out to have positive societal and economic impact. The first pillar in ELIS is the establishment of research programs and fellows. This pillar is already underway. In March of 2019, we established 11 research programs with about 200 fellows. These programs carry out research on a variety of topics within machine learning, including theory and algorithms, application areas like health and climate sciences, and human-centric elements of AI. The project proposals were reviewed by recent Turing Award winner, Professor Joshua Benjo, with the help of CIFAR, the Canadian Institute for Advanced Research, which is one of the leading institutions in the world in research. The second pillar in ELIS is about nurturing and inspiring and identifying and connecting the best postdocs and PhD students in Europe in machine learning, connecting them through an ELIS PhD postdoc and, uh, and PhD student program, which is right now recruiting students. So if any of you is a PhD student or a postdoc in machine learning or has students who might be interested in doing excellent research in Europe, please talk to me. The third pillar in ELIS consists of a network of ELIS units, which are formed by scientists working in machine learning, either in leading institutions or in institutions created from scratch. An ELIS unit has to commit to at least 1.5 million euro per year for at least five years to carry out excellent research on machine learning. In addition to the commitment to excellence, the units also commit at least 300,000 euro per year 
for network activities. For example, to lead programs, to host uh, exchange faculty and students, or to organize workshops. The response to an open call that we did back in November 2019 for the creation of the first LDS units was outstanding. And just a few weeks ago, during the New Lips conference in Vancouver, we announced the establishment of the first 17 LDS units in 10 different countries of Europe and Israel. Together, these units have managed to raise over 200 million euro for the next five years of both public and private funding to carry out leading research in Europe. The units are based in some of the hottest locations of Europe in terms of machine learning research like EPFL, ETH, Oxford or Tübingen, but also in new emerging regions like the Valencian region of Spain. European countries with a strong interest in AI should invest in ELIS and they should expect uh, positive benefits, both societal and economic, if they do so, without necessarily waiting for Brussels to provide the bulk of the funding. Of course, European funding can be very helpful, particularly to help start the network and also help in countries where they might not have the financial means necessary. It is also important to give ELIS a voice in Europe because right now, for example, the European Commission's high-level expert group on AI is biased towards classical, symbolic, and rule-based AI, not towards machine learning. These units are the first step because the ultimate vision from ELIS is to create an intergovernmental organization that is running a set of ELIS institutes, as I said. But creating such an organization is very complex, especially because we are a grassroots movement. So if any of you is an expert on that, please come talk to me later. What is interesting is that we are observing very high economic interest in machine learning in regions in Europe who might actually embrace the vision of ELIS faster than national governments. For example, the region of Baden-Württemberg in Germany has reserved substantial funding to create an ELIS Institute, and its president has publicly endorsed ELIS. Other regions, like Bavaria or the Valencian region in Spain, where I'm creating an ELIS unit, have also made similar statements. ELIS is also exploring new ways to do innovation. It has a clear interface with industry, it has a private sponsorship program, and it fosters and nurtures entrepreneurship. ELIS has a focus in attracting the best talent to Europe, and to do so, the Envision ELIS Institutes will also support the talent to have joint affiliations with industry. We will encourage them to take sabbaticals in industry or in the public sector, and it will also provide new incentives for researchers to create or participate in startups that result from their research. With ELIS, we are hoping to counteract brain drain, to provide economic stimulation, to have positive societal impact, and to help provide European technological sovereignty. So would you like to contribute? Please come talk to me later. Thank you.